What is up? Gear Squad Chain Gear here bringing the video and today it is early for me. It is very very early. It's about 8 30. Um, I woke up and I had to make this video. I did not expect to make this video waking up but it has to be made. If you guys have not heard the breaking news, I mean, this has literally just happened not more than an hour ago. It is kind of insane. Microsoft is buying ZeniMax Media, and that is insane. And if you don't know ZeniMax, they're the publisher of Bethesda. And Bethesda is the, the designer, the developer of... Skyrim, of all of the Elder Scrolls games, like Oblivion, Morrowind, Fallout, like Fallout 4, Fallout New Vegas, Doom, Prey, the upcoming Starfield, Dishonored. There are so many games that Bethesda owns, that ZeniMax owns, that I, I'm kind of mind blown. Let me just jump into this for you guys so we can just review this, so we can talk about this together. I woke up to this trending. Microsoft buys ZeniMax Media and game publisher Bethesda for $7.5 billion. Now, I saw the original tweet by Jason Schreier. Jason Schreier uh, is a reporter at uh, what used to be Kotaku, and now he actually works for Bloomberg. Um, and I looked at this one right here, this tweet right here, breaking. Microsoft is planning to buy ZeniMax slash Bethesda, an industry-shaking acquisition that will give Xbox ownership of Fallout, The Elder Scrolls, Doom, Wolfenstein, Dishonored, and more. Story hitting Bloomberg shortly. Then he followed up saying Microsoft is paying $7.5 billion. Some fun facts. This is three times what Microsoft paid for Minecraft slash Mojang. So if you didn't know... Microsoft bought Mojang, the creators of Minecraft. They bought Minecraft, and they bought it for three times less than they are buying Bethesda right now, the creators of Skyrim. Bethesda and Obsidian are now sister studios. Fallout New Vegas 2 is now actually a possibility. So if you guys didn't know, uh, Obsidian, they kind of had bad blood. Well, maybe, maybe I don't, I don't want to, like, you know, throw out some spoilers, spoilers, some, you know, I, I, I don't know. I don't want to put out rumors out there. But Obsidian is kind of, you know, they, they haven't worked with Bethesda in a long time. If you guys didn't know, Obsidian, they're the ones um, that made the Outer Worlds. Um, they make really hardcore RPGs, and they made Fallout New Vegas, which is a Fallout uh, entry in the franchise. And a lot of people say it's one of the best Fallouts, if not the best Fallout. Um, and a lot of people want a Fallout New Vegas 2 or that same team working on a Fallout game. And so we'll see what happens here. But both Obsidian and Bethesda were bought by Microsoft. That's just insane. And Microsoft is now releasing two timed exclusives to uh, the PS5. So they are still um, pushing out uh, two other games. I believe that's Ghostwire Tokyo as well as Deathloop. So um, that's absolutely insane. Now, obviously, after that, a lot more people obviously tweeted on it. Um, Satya Nadella did. Um, he's actually the CEO of Microsoft. Um, and he says, uh, three billion people look to gaming for entertainment, community, and achievement. And our ambition is to empower each of them wherever they play. Today is the step forward on that journey to becoming, um, as we welcome the beloved studio and franchises of Bethesda to Xbox. This is, again, just insane. And that was after Phil Spencer who is the uh, CEO, I believe, or president, head of Xbox, yeah. I didn't know exactly the title, head of Xbox. Xbox and Bethesda have worked together for years. We share similar passions and beliefs. Proud to welcome them to the team Xbox. Um, excited, <laughs> this is crazy. Excited how we'll advance gaming together for players everywhere. Again, this is, they're using a lot of words about um, everywhere, right? As if maybe we are gonna continue to get games on the PlayStation, as if Xbox is moving more towards being a publisher and less of being just a console manufacturer. 
um, which is interesting to me. It's intriguing, but we don't know, obviously. And then Pete Hines. So Pete Hines, he's actually, if I remember correctly, he's head of marketing. Yep, he is the head of marketing um, at Bethesda. And he says, today we announce um, Bethesda will be joining the Xbox family. I wanted to share some thoughts with you. So we've got a couple links in here. Xbox obviously mentioned it as well. And so I actually want to go to Xbox's page here. So Xbox actually has a thing here that says, welcoming the talented teams uh, and beloved game franchises of Bethesda to Xbox. And as you can see here, guys, it shows all of the mainline games here. Again, Dishonored, Wolfenstein, all of the Elder Scrolls, all of Fallout, Doom, Starfield. Starfield hasn't even been announced yet. The Evil Within, which is you know a notable game studio and Prey. And by the way, if you buy Bethesda at large, right? You get all of these game studios, including id, the guys that make Doom. So, I mean, this is just, I don't know, it's just so, this is a massive acquisition. It's massive. Now, we're not going to read through the whole thing. A big part of it seems like they want to um, utilize it for Xbox Game Pass um, for both console and PC. Um, it seems like... Starfield is a big part here. One of the things that we're most excited for seeing the roadmap with Bethesda's future games, some announced uh, and some and many unannounced, the Xbox console and PC, including Starfield, um, uh, the highly anticipated new space epic currently in development by Bethesda Game Studios. So again, I just, and again, oh, here's this too. Um, a plan that is uh, a plan that is the fulfillment of a promise to you, the Xbox player, to deliver the most performant, immersive, and compatible next-generation gaming experiences and the freedom to play blockbuster games with your friends anytime, anywhere. So this whole freedom to play thing is still a big deal. Now I, I understand they're probably mostly talking about Game Pass, but I just feel like they're talking about it a little bit too much, and they know that a big group of PlayStation players want to play these games still. I mean, these, these games are, are universal. So uh, this is just wild. And then Bethesda, of course, they had it as well. So Pete's, Pete Hines saying, why Microsoft is the perfect fit? Um, again, they have their own little um, uh, nice little graphic here. Today we're announcing joining the Microsoft family press release down below. Um, Todd Howard also said something as well, it seems like. Um, yeah, I mean, again, we're not going to go through this entire thing. It's just, again, really a big surprise here. It's just really a big surprise here. So, guys, I just, I don't know. This is, I just did not expect it. I did not expect it. I had to go ahead and talk about it. Um, this was not something that I woke up thinking I was going to see today. I did not think I was going to wake up and learn that, I've been playing actually a lot of Skyrim. I've been playing a little bit of Oblivion, and I've also been playing ESO, Elder Scrolls Online. I love Fallout. I actually really like Doom. I beat the first Doom, and I've been excited to play the second one. Um, I have both Dishonored. I beat Dishonored 1, excited to play Dishonored 2, uh, and these are all on my PlayStation. This is a massive acquisition. Uh, again, we don't know what that means um, for the future of uh, PlayStation players, because at this point, Xbox and PC are ubiquitous. If an Xbox game comes out, you know you're going to be able to play it on the PC and you're going to be able to play it well. But when it comes to, you know, playing on uh, the PlayStation, PlayStation is siloed. PlayStation is siloed very similarly to um, Nintendo. And I've mentioned this a long time ago back in um, some of my older uh, GearCast episodes. At the end of the day, Microsoft has a huge advantage. And the reason being is because Microsoft owns Windows. And Windows is the biggest um, PC platform. Uh, people use MacBooks, but no one games on a MacBook because it's literally not possible, right? <laughs> like, I mean, you could, but it's not, you know, it's not a, a large amount of games. Uh, you actually can't even play Fortnite on a MacBook anymore. You can't play it on iOS and you can't play it on a MacBook. So, um, you know, at this point, we're really seeing this fusion of Xbox and Microsoft take off. Whereas PlayStation, PlayStation is also publishing titles. They're publishing PlayStation titles on the PC, but you know you have to use PlayStation Now or you have to use Steam, a third-party client, where Microsoft can just use Xbox. So Xbox is, they're really trying to get Xbox everywhere. It's, also, it's even on the Nintendo Switch. So at this point, it's like PlayStation starting to become more and more siloed. They are opening up 
they are opening up to PC, but we're just gonna have to wait and see what that means. Guys, this is huge news, and I don't think this is the end. I think we're going to hear some similar news around uh, PlayStation. I think PlayStation is gonna start buying studios. I would love to see PlayStation buy, and, and by the way, to talk about what the advantages of are of owning a studio comparatively to just having the studio, you know, publish with you. You have much more um, direct access to funds, direct access to the company that you're trying to publish on, um, a direct link to their player base. Uh, it's not always better. Uh, I, I think sometimes you're, you're going to see a lot of congratulations on Twitter, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be better. There's a reason that Bungie left Microsoft. Bungie used to be with Microsoft and they left them. Um, so I think that there is a, a reason sometimes why that doesn't always work out. But for a lot of people, it's security, right? It's a security and safety thing. Um, Bethesda now has that Microsoft money. And if they have that Microsoft money, then that means they're in a good position. Um, again, I, I think we're going to see PlayStation make some um, buys here. And I wouldn't be surprised if we see companies like Valve or Epic start to buy studios. And I say that because now that everything's starting to become a little bit more ubiquitous, um, you can play PlayStation games on the PC. You can play Xbox games on the PC. I think the PC players like Epic and Steam are gonna have to start building up their repertoire as well. So anyway, guys, this has been breaking news. Thank you so much for joining me on the beginning of this journey. We're gonna keep reporting on it because I love Bethesda um, as, a, maybe I should say I love Bethesda's properties. I don't love necessarily Bethesda as a company, um, but I love the Fallout series. I love Elder Scrolls. Um, and so I'm excited to see where these things go. So either way, guys, thank you so much for watching. Of course, if you like the video, like it. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys online. And of course, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>